Hey everyone, I'm just here watching one of my favorite TV movies slash miniseries. Um, it's called The Tenth Kingdom. It originally premiered on NBC in I believe 2000 or 2001. It's a miniseries that they put on video first, but when they did that, they had to delete some scenes because they couldn't fit all of the seven plus hours on video. So when they did that, it kind of ruined the movie, but later it was put on a two disc DVD, which really wasn't good because one of the disc one of the discs was double sided and eventually got scratched because of the packaging they had it in. But they re released it and this one you can get at Amazon.com. This is the three disc one. Let's see, disc one, two. Um, this one's really great. Um, a really great movie. Alright, this movie is about, um, a son, a son, sorry, excuse me, about a father and daughter who live together. The daughter works at a restaurant, uh, close to Central Park, and the father is the janitor, kind of like a um, handyman of the apartment that he lives in. Um, the daughter meets the, this dog and this wolf is after this dog because we find out later in the movie that the dog is actually a prince named Prince Wendell who is magically turned into a dog by this evil queen who breaks out of jail. And she does this because she wants to control the... She wants to gain control of all the Ninth Kingdoms. Uh, we also find out later that the Queen was at was Snow White's stepmother. So Prince Wendell is Snow White's grandson. Yes, this has to do with fairy tales, but it's a really good movie. I recommend it. Anyway, let me continue. Um, she finds this dog and the wolf and... She outruns them, but then she finds out that trolls are after them, and then somehow the dad and the daughter magically go into this magic land where fairy tales are real. And and while they're there, um, the daughter is kidnapped by trolls. The dad is mistaken for a prisoner, and he's sent to jail. Um, but the wolf pretends to be on their side, I mean, yeah, starts to be on their side and helps the girl escape from the trolls and they reunite with the dad and they find out that they need the magic mirror to go back to their time, to their world, New York. So they go on this quest to find a magic mirror and then they find out that the, and then they find, and then later on in the movie while they're looking for this mirror, they find out the whole plot of the witch changing Prince Wendell into a dog and trying to take over the Ninth Kingdom. So now it's up to them to stop the Queen, to find the mirror, to go back to their time, and to change Prince Wendell back into a dog. Um, this is actually a really good movie, and the reason why it's on three discs is because it is over seven hours um, when they premiered this on NBC, it was a miniseries. I believe it was in three or four parts. Each part was two hours. But um, this is a great movie. I do recommend it if you have a whole entire day off. If you want to watch it from start to beginning. If not, then I recommend you watch each CD, each CD until you finish it. This is actually a good, good movie. And you're going to find a surprise. And at the end... You're going to find a very surprise twist with the queen and the daughter and dad. Um, it's actually a good movie, and I do recommend this if you like movies like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I give this a, for what it is, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is actually a very good miniseries, which is now a on DVD. You can get this at, you can get this to rent at Netflix. Next, next, Netflix.com or to buy at Amazon.com.